All right, you guys, welcome back to the Pity to Purpose podcast. I'm your host, Parker, a.k.a. Mr. No Pity Parties. Here in this podcast, we talk about helping Christians go from a place of self-pity to walking in their purpose. This podcast is not only excluded to Christians, because all people who struggle with self-pity can benefit. But my focus is to speak specifically to my brothers and sisters out there who are struggling to find their God-given purpose and who want more out of their relationship with God. I've been uploading new podcasts every Tuesday, so if you get value from this and from the things that I share, then definitely consider subscribing for more future content. In today's episode, we are going to be digging into a little bit about moving moving towards our calling and purposes despite being afraid. I'm going to break down a little bit of little little bit of different things in this episode. I'm going to give you a lot of a little bit of extra how-to, uh, some inspiration and motivation to help you take further steps in accessing those great things that God has laid out before you. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into it. So a lot of times in life, uh, we as people, we we know our giftings, we know our callings and our purpose, but it is, but but we tend to hold back in fear of the unknown future. Um, I put out a post on Instagram this past week talking about how the safest place to be is in the will of God. Uh, In that post, I mentioned that the story of Jonah in the Bible and how he was swallowed by a whale and stuck in it for three days because he ran from God and from the instructions that God told him to go do. For those of you who know this story, my question is to you, would things have been less complicated for Jonah had he obeyed God in the first place? And we're getting back to the basics again. This is something that we learned in Sunday school growing up as as children. But no matter how old we get, the core message still holds a lot of weight and truth for us, including myself. So we get hung up on the fear of what we know God tells us to do. And so we run from him in the other direction, just like Jonah did. And God has to send a whale to come swallow us or allow something bad to happen to us to humble us, and to get us to listen. Or there would be times God will allow our lives to become so miserable to the point we have to make that decision to obey. And this time two years ago, I was working in a maximum security facility uh, as a correctional officer at the state level. And even though God did use this job to develop me into the person that I am now, it still wasn't what he had visioned for me long term. And it was closer to about October 2019 when God really began speaking to me and telling me that he wanted me to leave this career. And I had to trust that he was going to do something better later. But because I didn't have a solid backup plan, I refused to quit. And because I didn't listen, God had to let my life get to a point and the job became so unbearable that I had no choice but to quit. And so I did. I tried to put something together, but on my way out, the whole plan completely fell through and I had no job lined up. But looking back on that season, God did provide for me financially after I left. It wasn't easy, but he did provide. And I'm not saying everyone should just quit their jobs without having something lined up. But sometimes God will call us to leave a position without having a backup plan and trust that he will provide. If I stayed back in fear in that situation, things would have gotten worse because of my disobedience, just like Jonah. But something could have happened that I could have gotten fired, or even worse, I'd still be working there to this day. And if I was still working in corrections, I would have missed God's best for me now in this season. I would not have this podcast. I would not have my my clothing brand, and I would definitely not be doing something that allows me to utilize my deeper giftings and passions. And most importantly, I would not have the deepest relationship with God that I've ever had in my whole entire life. But because of me leaving that comfortable lifestyle two years ago, now I get to do what I do now. Following God's purpose and plan for my life in this season, where I get to help other people find their purpose too. And in life, sometimes we have to do What the world says is nuts. But if God is for us, who can be against us? And if God is leading you to make a decision, 
and you know that it's for sure from him, then it doesn't matter what anybody else tries to say against that to thwart what God has for you. We should open we should always be open to what others are trying to say and to help us, but remember to practice discernment so you know firmly what God is trying to tell you to do. John or Jesus says in John 10:27, "My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me." The next thing I want to talk to you about is imposter syndrome, perfectionism, and Overall, not feeling adequate enough to do or start the thing that God has called you to do. One of the reasons I began this podcast at the time that I did was to serve as an example. That anyone can do this regardless of what kind of equipment or systems you have. And I didn't worry about getting everything perfectly set up to have podcasts available on other platforms right out the gate. Because I knew those things weren't as important as just starting with what I already had. I will admit that I am using a separate camera. I am using a separate mic. But these are all things that I had prior to me starting. I didn't go out and buy all this equipment just to start my podcast. If you're somebody that doesn't have this equipment, you can use your cell phone to record. Use the onboard microphone that's already built into your phone. And then when it's done, you can just edit all of it with free apps on your phone. I did this. You can scroll back to my earlier episodes on YouTube of about five years ago. I was in the 11th grade using a garbage Android phone to film and edit my videos. And I left those videos up because I wanted it to serve as an example of my growth process, of my success, and as I grow in my journey. And I also wanted to start this podcast while I didn't have everything together so you could see my growth process over time. And for a lot of successful people, we do not have their growth journey of when they were first getting started. But I want you to have that with me so that at some point you could be motivated to start that thing that God has planned for you by modeling my growth journey. So I don't, com- I don't, I don't claim to be an expert on how to start a podcast, but based from everything that I have seen so far in my journey is that you don't need to have all the bells and whistles. Start with what you have now and just build from there. And if you were knowledgeable and experienced in the topic that you want to teach and share the world with, or share with the world, then, and if you have something to give, then just start that thing. You'll be so glad that you did. And the feeling of success is so worth, uh, so worth pushing past the fear of having everything together and knowing that you're going to make it work regardless. And every time I hit that stop recording button when I finish an episode, it is a win for me. Because I'm building something and being consistent at something that not very many people are doing. Somebody that I have been acquainted with, uh, who is highly skilled in helping other people start their podcast, conducted a study and they concluded that there are approximately 2.3 million podcasts currently, but only a little over 500,000 of those are considered active. Now, it's not very many when you compare that to their being roughly 8 billion people on this planet, according to Woodometer. This is our sixth episode of the Pity to Purpose podcast. I've been uploading one time a week for about six weeks, which is roughly a month and a half. Six weeks and six episodes isn't very many, but it's six more than what I would have now if I haven't already started because I'm waiting on everything to be perfect. Maybe for you, your thing isn't podcasting, but maybe you're called to launch a ministry, or maybe you're called to being a full-time missionary or a pastor. Don't not get things in, in line or in order. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is don't hold back because all the minor details aren't there yet. Some of the details just just take time in life to get worked out. That's where God's grace comes into play. And as I mentioned, the last thing I have for you is imposter syndrome. And this is something I want to be vulnerable with you about because this is personally something that I'm I'm really overcoming now. And I'm working towards it. But I want to share with you some things that I'm finding is really helping me. So what imposter syndrome essentially is, is uh, 
It's something that entrepreneurs go through and they don't feel qualified to be at the position that they're at. And therefore, they feel like a fraud. And they feel that any second now, their true self is going to be exposed. And what God has been showing me and reminding me of in this season is that he doesn't, qual- he doesn't, he doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. We're never going to be perfect. And we're never going to be perfect at what we do. So that gives me a sense of peace that in this journey to rely solely on God to give me the grace that I need to do this with confidence. And another thing I learned in my entrepreneur community is if we're at a level three on a scale of one to ten, then we can own that level three and be the best at it and help those who are at the same level and lower. And this has really been helping me to build that confidence that I need to own this level that I'm at now. And I hope it also helps somebody else who is listening that has been struggling with that sense of fear and just overall not being qualified to do what God has called you to do. So guys, that is all I have for you in this episode of Pity to Purpose. I hope this episode caused some change to break off of some of your guys' lives and just overall helps you advance and take that next step to walk into things that God is calling you to. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast and definitely consider sharing with somebody who you might find that may find this helpful to their lives. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you in the next Pity to Purpose podcast.